I want to wish you and your family a very, very happy and warm Thanksgiving. Warm that it warms your heart. I pray that you are blessed and I pray that your family is blessed, whether they're with you or not. Mainly, I pray that you're all safe. One of the greatest things that we have to be thankful for is seeing light at the end of the tunnel. And as bad as 2020 has been with our separation and isolation, with the vaccine in 2021, it will be coming to an end. And I am thankful for that. I'm going to share with you today a gratitude system that many of you are already using. And I'm going to share with you an extended, perhaps even more advanced system than some of you are currently using. It's in our day-by-day -day book, and I'll be sharing that with you. Many people are asking what we're doing for Black Friday, and this is more than Black Friday. It's for this year. We have a special where we have our tear-off calendar, which is our most popular item that we offer. We have one for you and one as a gift for $40 sent to the same address with free $8 priority mail. So you get it right away. We have uh, these in stock right now. However, they're running low. However, there's light at the end of the tunnel. There's more on their way. And uh, you would have it in plenty of time for the new year and the Christmas season. And then the other item is our popular, uh, our just through the roof popularity of our day-by-day -day book. We have two of these, one for you and one for another person for $40 sent with free priority mail. And that is $8 to us and you'll be getting it right away. Now, people often say, well, why can't I order just one? Well, it's because of the mail system. We, uh, the cheapest that we can offer one of these shipped at is priority. And we can fit two in the priority packaging shipped to the same address. I often say to my friends, I don't know how Amazon does it. Uh, you know, they ship everything and they ship it free, but they're a lot bigger than we are and we don't have those deals, but we offer you this deal. Now, let's get into the day-by-day -day system. The day-by-day -day system, this is uh, a really nicely printed uh, book and it is spiral bound. And that is because you start it wherever you are. It comes with the bookmark that you can take out and put in where you are on the calendar. And it talks you through your year in a spiritual way. Now, one of the things that we've designed is we have a, a tab here where it's easy to find the positive gratitude system. And that is the advanced system. So let me talk about this right now and really get you to a point where you are having more realization of God's good in your life, more realization of the blessings. In Psalms, it says this, it says, enter God's gates with thanksgiving. Thanksgiving, it attracts your good to you. A gratitude in mind, it is like a magnet to attract your good. First, every day you make an appointment with God for Thanksgiving prayer. Now, over Thanksgiving, you do that. You make time. <clears throat> Often, this is a busy time of the year, so you're going to write it down on your calendar 
when you have an appointment with God. And you keep the appointment, and God keeps the appointment. Number two, you count your blessings. You write them down every single day. If you don't, you'll forget. You'll write it down on your calendar, any calendar. And then you remember what God is doing in your life. Three, review weekly. Four, review monthly. And then five, on Thanksgiving, it should be an entire day of reviewing your year, of giving thanks to God for all the wonderful things that have happened. Number six is to be thankful for your life. To, especially this time of year, if you don't have the virus, if you have remained healthy, if you are safe, what a thing to be thankful for because this is not just the common flu. Uh, let me tell you, this ministry has been affected by so many that have lost so much. And it is something to be thankful for when you realize how precious life is and you make it a habit every day. Instead of looking to what is wrong, you look to what is right. Next, you're thankful for you. See, most people aren't. They're, they're constantly criticizing themselves, finding fault in themselves. And what do you think that does to our mind, to our soul, to our body? Instead, you praise the God-given life that God has given you. Number eight is you're thankful for other people. And often, in life, a human being will find fault in others. Instead, you turn it around. And you might do this silently. You might think that it wouldn't affect others, but it does spiritually when you're thankful for them. And it attracts friendship, love into your life. Number nine is you have thanksgiving. For every blessing that you receive daily, you give one blessing back. God needs you in this way to make your life better, to make other people's life better. You give away good deeds. You give away a smile. You give away a kind word, a listening ear, or even a helping hand. You give away appreciation and recognition. I discovered this years ago when I would praise someone and you have to do it sincerely. This is not something that is made up or acted. It is something from your heart to their heart. And I've had people break down in tears before because one lady said it's been years, years. How could that be since someone said something nice? Number 10 is you praise only every day that you're able to go through without criticizing once, anyone, anything, including yourself. You draw a star next to that date on your personal calendar. You compliment often. You don't hold it back. Number 11, you are thankful in advance like Jesus. Even things that haven't come yet in your life, you give thanks in advance in faith, knowing that they are coming with God's help. And number 12, and this is a really powerful thing. It's the at least rule. When something bad happens in your life, you don't allow it to define your day or your life. So many people have had a bad event. They relive it in mind daily. It magnifies and it takes over their life. When a woman had an auto accident, instead of allowing it to ruin her entire week or month, she was able to give thanks that at least 
No one was hurt. At 